Do the Milwaukee Bucks do enough to win the NBA championship? Do the Milwaukee Bucks do enough to make Giannis want to stay? Only time will tell. But this roster does look a little bit different. And I think this year is definitely going to be interesting. So let's talk about what to expect from the Milwaukee Bucks this year. And before we start the video, I want to hear your comments down below on what you think the Milwaukee Bucks are going to do this year. What the record is going to be. Are they going to win the NBA championship? Let's hear it down below right now. And let's talk about what to expect from the Milwaukee Bucks this year. Drew Holiday is a fucking great point guard. I love him. I thought this was a great trade. I don't think they gave up too much for him. I think they gave up just enough for him. And with that being said, Drew Holiday, what a great point guard. He's going to be playing point guard for them. I know he. you could say that he's a shooting guard, but for them, he's going to be the point guard with DJ Augustine backing him up, and then the third string point guard would be probably Jalen Adams. But anyway, Drew Holiday, one of the best defensive point guards in the league if he is going to play point guard this year. So we'll just say guard for the rest of the video. One of the best defensive guards in the league. He's one of the best two combo guards with point guard-like skills in the league. And I don't think people remember how, like, I feel like he, just because he's played in New Orleans for the last couple of years, that he has kind of been under the radar. If he had played in a big market, we'd be hearing his name a lot more. But he is just a guy who has that defensive mentality instilled in him. And I think that he could bring that to the rest of the team and make sure this team is going to be a really good defensive team. He's a better defensive player than Eric Bledsoe. I'm not putting a knock on Eric Bledsoe, but... He's a better player and defensive player than Eric Bledsoe. And this was a really good trade for them. They got an upgrade at the position. They're going to get a guy who can guard the opposing team's best guard. He could make them struggle, make them take bad shots. And he really has the capability to change games with his defense. Is it Buttonholzer or Budenholzer? I think I've heard both on broadcast. It really just depends on who's calling it. Usually Reggie Miller screws me up and just calls every name wrong. So I'm sorry if I heard a Reggie Miller game and called it right. Anyway. I'm going to just call him Coach Mike. Coach Mike is just one of those guys who I think he's one of the best regular season head coaches in the league. One of the best. We saw what he did in Atlanta. We've seen what he's done here. Phenomenal head coach in the regular season. And what happens is in the playoffs, what I think happens is I don't think Mike is one of the best X's and O's guys. You know, you got your Nick Nurses, your uh, Popoviches, your uh, Brad Stevens. I just struggled with the names right there. And those three guys, you know, or probably Eric Spolstra, those four guys throw, throw out the game plan if it's not working mid-game. They'll be like, all right, game plan is not working. Let's rewrite it. Let's do something completely different. This is how we're going to have to win the game because what we had originally planned wasn't working. And I don't know if Mike does that. I don't know if he does the on-the-fly type of changes that you see these other coaches. It doesn't seem like he does it because they lose games in the playoffs because they're not changing the way they play because they're being defended and it's not working so yeah they tried different things they, that they have done before in the regular season but they don't do new things that we haven't seen them do before in the playoffs like we see these teams that do make it to the finals they change the way they play in the playoffs which i don't know if coach mike does won't you stay with me that, that terrible singing was like, you know, that Stay With Me song. Either way, whoa, you want to stay with the Bucks? I have no idea. I know that everyone was like, the Lakers are waiting to sign their extensions because they're going to take one-on-one -on -one deals so they can open up for cap space for the Bucks and create a super team. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think that's going to happen anymore. I don't think he's going to go to the Lakers. But will he leave? It really comes down to, I could be wrong in a week he signs his extension. But... Giannis seems like a guy, he wants to win championships. Maybe he pulls a LeBron and he leaves and he goes to South Beach for a few years or Chicago and then comes back to Milwaukee and wins it for Milwaukee. That could be a thing. But right now, I think he's going to say, I think Giannis cares about his legacy. He wants to build it in Milwaukee. I'm going to go with Giannis stays, boys. Giannis stays. And girls, if you're watching, he stays. Is Chris Middleton good enough to be Giannis' second star? Yeah, he averaged 20 points last year, and he had a really good PR. And yeah, I think so. But is it enough? Is Chris Middleton enough of a second scorer? Is he good enough to be the team's second player, second best player? Is that what Chris Middleton is? Yeah, he shot 40% from three. But then in the postseason, in their 10 games, he shot 35% from three, 39% from the floor. Okay? And he still averaged 20 points. And he was dishing out more assists. And he was be playing better defense. But 
in crucial times. I don't know if Chris Milton has the clutch gene that you need in the playoffs from like one of your second best player from your second best score you need a, another guy who can also be clutch making those shots you need your sidekick you need your robin to your batman okay if batman is Giannis, is chris middleton robin is chris middleton good enough to be robin and i don't think he is like i like the guy i think he's a great player i think he can be a third guy i don't know if he should be your second is dante divincenzo your sixth man this year then like that's my question Dante DiVincenzo, six man, right? That's I have to assume that's what y'all are doing with him is that he's going to play some six man type role. He played 23 minutes of the game last year for, and had nine points and had about a 14 PER, which I think is great. And I think he's more of a shooting guard, defensive minded shooting guard with the fact that he did average 1.3 steals. I really think he should be your six man. I could see him getting 14 points a game. He could step in, play kind of like the Eric Bledsoe role off the bench or George Hale combination, go out there, dish out maybe like three or four assists, get like a steal, a steal and a half a game, maybe two steals a game, and then just be a good microwave off the bench. I think Dante DiVincenzo has the all the possibility to do that. I think he'd be a really good player for y'all. And I think he'd be a really good six man. It's obviously you have high thoughts of him. And that's why you guys kept him. Or is he going to be Pat Connington? Pat Conningham, Connington. I have a friend who's actually like cousins with him not friend a friend who's friends with someone who's cousins with him little known fact either way he i could also be in the C, being the six man he's not a three and d guy he's just a really he, he plays good defense for what he is but he is a guy who's just one of the most freak athletes i've ever seen and he's just going to give you some points and bunches will brooke lopez get back to what he was like brooke lopez i'm not saying back to what he was in brooklyn but what he was like two years ago i don't think he was as good as he was last year wasn't as good as his first year in milwaukee look his first year in milwaukee he was shooting 36 from three uh this year he thought shot 31 percent and he didn't even shoot as many threes this year so can brooke lopez get back to being that good of a shoot a three shooter he's been a great rim protector had back-to-back -back seasons with two blocks which i think is fantastic i don't expect him ever to become that rebounder he was again that's not his job he's supposed to stay by the three line and shoot threes but besides that he's just i want to see if he can continue being a good three shooter that's what he was a year ago and he didn't do it good this year i want to see if he can get back to it though i want to hear down below in your opinions i think this is going to be like the third seed second seed at highest maybe first seed they could be the first seed they could be the best team in the east it all just comes down to how this team meshes. So I want to hear down below what you guys think this team's going to do, how good they're going to be. I would love to hear that. But that's pretty much it, the video, guys. I think they have a lot of concerns and a lot of good things going for them. I think they could either be between the first and the third seed in the, the, the Eastern playoffs. But that's about it. They'll probably make the play finals. But, yep, I hope you guys have a great day because I know I will. Tell us, guys. Peace out.